But then you have like rival companies or, you know, bad actor states or countries that are like, well, we don't want to slow down. We want to be first to the finish line. We want to have the first military, uh, military ready AI robots. We want to have the first military ready cyber systems that can attack anybody so we can protect our systems. So like we can't control what the world does. So while there's this managed slowdown, what what's happening outside of those factors? Like, Is anything being... Yeah, monitored. I mean, clearly, you, you you know, we have to monitor everything and not everyone's going to follow every regulation. So you're right. But it, it so happens that for most of the risks that I study, whether it's AI, uh, you know, bio risks, uh, even nuclear risks, all of these things, all kinds of new energy risks, they all take a significant amount of infrastructure and resources to pull off any kind of risk event. It is mm -hmm. actually not that easy. So right. if you control 80%, you catch... 95% of the problem. Uh, that does not give us any reason to pause and, and take it all easy uh, about the 5% that could destroy the world. Uh, so we, we live in a very risky society and we, we obviously have to figure out a way to keep living in this situation. But I don't think complacency or saying, well, it's gone well so far. Right. That doesn't strike me <laughs> as the right answer to this 